is good, Grey Gang? Me and Zach's are here today. We're actually going to be doing some primitive trapping. Survival trapping, I guess. Now, we only have two supplies. We're equipped with some strings. Actually, some KG string. Never really told anyone about it, but we have that right there. And then we also both have a KG knife apiece. Just a simple pocket knife, not anything else. Now, since this is survival trapping, like I just said, all that we have to use is things that we can legitimately find out in nature, whatever you want to call this, the woodland area, I guess. Besides the knife and string, of course, but that means sticks, rocks, holes, whatever we want, that's what we got. And so anyways, guys, we're going to set about four traps today. All, all four of them are going to be completely different. The first one... I think we're going to go with the spring snare. Now, the first thing we're going to look for to make a spring snare is a small area that, you know, we have critters running through. This here, honestly, may not be the best place because it's forest and it's a lot of open stuff. The best place to put a spring snare, I would say, you know, I'd say in a thicket. Commonly used for rabbits because, I don't know, a lot of people trap rabbits with them. But you put it where there's a little bitty trail where the rabbit's going to go through and that's where you set your snare. Here, on the other hand, it's going to be a little bit harder, but I think we can still do it. Three. Big old tree right there for the spring. <laughs> No. <laughs> just yeets the rabbit across. It's like now, the one thing about this spring snare is that it is illegal. So we're not actually going to leave it overnight. We're just going to set it for fun. And that's why we're not exactly in the perfect spot. But without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and pick a random spot and set the snare. We'll, we'll walk you through the process anyhow. So now we just need to find a decently cool looking stick. I don't know if we can use a big one, though. I think it'll be too powerful. What if we like just for bears? A bear spring snare. Okay. Tell you what, guys, I think we're going to use this one. It's not black bear ready, but it's a good enough i'm just going to cut these branches off here because they're in my way and professional okay but here's what we're going to do now the premise of a spring snare is the trigger i'm actually going to grab a few sticks here we'll add a trigger or something here we go and here we go and just like that we have a spring snare trigger ready to go now here's a closer look at it we're going to drive this piece down in the ground have this connected to the tree and then we're going to lock it in there just like that so first thing i'm just going to wipe some of this out of the way just because i don't know make it a cool looking spot i guess we drive this part down in the ground i would go grab a rock at this point to you know push it on down in the ground but i don't think we're going to need it i don't think it's that that tough to push and now with the other piece that you have the string on now oh yeah baby here we go. Now I'm going to make the snare part. You are a professional. I've been surviving for almost 18 and a half years, so yeah, pretty much a survivor. Now, now this snare right here is made. It is ready to go, you know, just hang it up somehow like that, and then it's going to spring it up. But now what we're going to worry about is somehow try to make this thing work up here. I'm going to come up to this tree, grab it, put it under my knee because that seems like the tactical thing to do. <laughs> and while we're at this point, we'll tie it into this. Now we're tied into the tree. I want to give it a pretty good distance, pretty good spring it, I guess. And if this works out good, this is going to be a really cool survival tool. But like I said, since it is illegal, I can't use it today. I can't even leave it set overnight because I don't want to, you know, go to jail. And now here's the premise, guys. Like I showed you, it has this trigger which locks in down here to the bottom of this one. And then they lock in together like that. And so whenever well, this thing is set, except I don't have the snare, but whenever... I'm going to release it, dude. That's too crazy. <laughs> Not until we get done, actually, with the snare. But I believe we're honestly about done with the snare in here. And we've just about created a spring snare, guys. It t it's literally... How long is it taking? Uh, six minutes six, so far. Six minutes. There, it is set right there. Now we have to get some sticks to support this snare right here. Cut them off of this exact tree. Oh. oh. <sighs> Easy, buddy. Just like that. And so that's basic, okay? That's kind of basic what it is. And now let me get a stick and show you what's going to happen whenever a little bitty rabbit comes through here. Here comes the rabbit. Hop, 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 hop. Where'd it go? Oh. It went up <laughs> in the sky. And then here we come. The next day, we got dinner, boys. Just like that. We got dinner. And so say my hand's the rabbit. Rabbit's going to come on, get caught. The trigger's going to release. And then it pulls me up. And the rabbit's just sitting here hanging from a tree. Now, a lot of times, the thing is, you might get it by the neck, which is perfectly fine. You most likely got the rabbit. But then a lot of times, you may get it by the waist, and then there's just a hanging rabbit there, which can then bend over and cut the string and bite it in half. And that's really what I've heard problems doing this. I've never actually done it, and I don't think I'm going to, because it is illegal to have spring-loaded snares. But anyways, we're just going to leave it like this. I'm going to cut that off and keep using those triggers. But now let's move on to the second device. This one, I'm going to be honest, guys, it is by far my favorite. 
and the most illegal. Is this the nail one? This is the nail one. Hide your kids. So now for this one, if you've probably heard of it, it is called the windless trap, the Spanish windless type thing. It's a wild trap and it's highly illegal as far as I know. I'm not 100% sure if it's illegal or not, but I'm definitely not going to set it. And if you don't know, and if you don't know what the trap's like, you'll see why in a minute. But first of all, what you're going to look for is two trees that's about and decent spread apart and i think i may have just found some right here you want them about to spread this maybe a little bit closer but it kind of all depends on what you're looking for now what i'm going to do for this one is i'm going to get the string wrap it around here and because this string isn't very stretchy at all i think i'm going to go ahead and just do it twice we'll have twice as strong as str of string and piece these two together and now that we got those two together now we can actually start making the stick which is going to be about this size as far as i know Okay, but I believe this stick right here is going to be good. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to come in about a little bit more than one third and we're going to make want to make this stick half of what it is now. So I'm actually going to have to go find another stick to help me break this stick. Gracious whacking right there. Like I said, the only tool I have is string and a pocket knife. So I'm just going to have to try to chop wood with a pocket knife. But guess what? I think I, we can definitely do it here. Wouldn't be the first time. We're actually doing a really good job too. That KG pocket knife is what it is. Yeah, this may be the may not be the best on my knife, but uh, it's survival. And I can tell you one thing: I'm here to survive. I ain't no dire. I didn't come here to not make a good survival trap. I can tell. And now what I'm gonna do is I have to split it right through here. We're gonna have to do a technique called batoning, which includes putting my knife right there, getting another big stick, and whacking it. This is a test. This is a test of a solid knife. Every other, knife of, every other knife I've ever tested did not pass that test. Also, I've never tested a knife over $10, but still. But now we're seriously getting there, guys. Like, we're almost there. We're almost into the money zone for what we're looking for. I need to do a little bit more baton this, I guess. I don't know. Ah! Oh, why did I do that? Ah! Oh! Did that hurt? Yeah. <laughs> I just hammered my thumb. Oh no. Yeah. Ah, wow, I am not very good today, am I? Now here's where the nail comes in. The nail, yeah, you don't necessarily find this in nature. But if this is a true survival situation, boys, you go find a dumpster and you find a nail. Uh-uh, nail, no. Now, if this is a real survival situation, you find a dumpster, you ain't surviving no more. You go find help. You won. You, you're surviving. You found civilization. Okay, anyways, back to the video. We want it going the same way like this. But out here on the end, we want this right here. And then we can hit it on this rock to actually make it go through. And now we're, <laughs> we're definitely getting there, guys. That's what it's looking like so far. I don't know. If you guys know what a windless trap is, you know what's about to happen. But those of you who don't know what a windless trap is, like Zach right now, y'all have no idea what's about to happen. Do you know what's about to happen? No, I just know it's a stick with a nail in it. Oh, look at my thumb, dude. Oh, is that where you hammered yourself? Yeah. It's already starting to bubble up. Ah, it'll be all right. We got a stinking windless trap to set. I'm still very excited about that. What? My thumb? No, about the sticky nail or nail stick. Now, with this windless trap, you also need a trigger. It's called a patinami peg, pastrami peg. It's called something with a P word, peg. You are so dumb. This is where it starts getting a little sketchy. You put it in here like this, and then you spin it up until it has quite a bit of momentum. To where whenever it lets go, well, boom. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Except it's a whole lot stronger than that. And it needs to be a whole lot closer to the ground. Trigmatory peg. Chattahoochee peg. Yeah, there we go. And so now twist this up. This is illegal and extremely dangerous. Probably one of the dangerous traps I know of. Even way more dangerous than a steel trap. Because let's say this. If you do this to maximize your efforts, meaning, uh, I don't like the sound of this, but putting a barb on the end of your hook, and you accidentally let this go on yourself, yeah, that ain't good. You always want to keep one hand on it. Actually, just don't do it. Don't do it at all. You want me to hold that while you do that? No, I got it. I got to learn how to do it if I'm going to be surviving, dude. That's true. Right here is how the pastrami peg works. It's basically just two sticks. You put the bait right here, and you have the trap pushing down on this. Whenever this moves, it collapses. The trap falls. Always keep my hand here like this. This is terrifying. Yeah, it is. First, I make sure the peg's okay, which it was not, okay? It was definitely was not okay. And don't try this at home, guys, because I'm probably gonna... Don't do this, but this is not a video for you guys to go out and do yourself. Chances are, if you wanna be real, you're probably never gonna be in a survival situation. Hopefully. 
you're never going to be in a survival situation. Don't let the trigger go off with my arm right here. That's probably the biggest thing. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a solid surface here. I think that's the biggest problem. Yeah, I gave her a beating. Oh my gosh, oh. it's set, dude. It's set. Let's get out of the way. Let's go home and actually grab a piece of fruit so that we can let this thing attack. Oh. No! Ah. Okay, let's go home and get some fruit anyhow. I'm going to record this in case you like hit yourself. Yeah good content and by the way guys while i'm trying to set up this trap i do want to say see this hat right here it is a new hat we just released it not very long ago at all this is the camo has the kgo on the side zach is actually wearing the gray hat there it is right there gray and black a little more subtle if you want to wear or something like that we just released them not too long ago and if you want to pick up one up yourself you already know where to go or the knife even the knife we've been using so far kindlegrade1.com slash shop or first link in description and so now guys we're just gonna act oh what was that come on man <laughs> moment of truth guys right here Let's say this big old thing's a possum. It comes rolling in. Oh, there it goes. Boom. Nail. Straight into it. And that's what it's supposed to do right there. We'll go ahead and let it fly off. It's got a lot of, quite a lot of torque, I guess. I don't know. But that right there is the windless trap. It is also illegal, so we can't just let this sit here. We'll go ahead and cut it. That way it can't be used. Now we're going to move on to two more traps, which are legal and that we are going to set overnight and actually try to catch something with So it. now what we're going to do, Zach's actually going to tackle one of these live traps. I'm going to be tackling the other live trap, and yes, they are live. He's going to be doing a deadfall with a figure four trigger. But instead of using a big rock, which flattens down and kills the animal immediately, we've actually got a milk crate here so that we can decide what we want to do with it anyhow. Because, I mean, you know, peanuts running around here. I don't want to kill peanut. I'm sorry. If we accidentally catch peanut, we can just let him go. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a pit trap. It's like a big hole hole in the ground that animals can fall in and not be able to get back out now it's not now it's not like you're thinking there's not spikes at the bottom it's pretty simple it's pretty legal i'll let you guys see it once you're done once i'm done at it go this is where we need to be okay guys so if you're wondering what in the world i'm doing this is actually before me and zach started making traps at all i actually had to come down here before we started to get some of the supplies for the trap i'm about to build but one of the things i need is some bamboo now i live in kentucky and we don't have bamboo so i'm just gonna get some cane poles because you know they're basically the same looking outfit now i'm not 100 percent pro about what i need but i'm just gonna cut down a few of them take them back to the house and then i can work with them once i get over there i'm sinking walking through the jungle right now i don't even know where where i am Goodness. Well, uh, there's one I want. I see the one I want. Oh, dang it. These are sharp, dude. <sighs> mm, ooh, I just sit on one. But anyways, guys, I think this one right here is exactly what I need. I'm just going to come down here. Chop it. This isn't exactly what I need, but guess what? The knife is definitely more than capable of doing it. There we go. We got it now. Now I'm going to drag this out here somehow, go back to the house, and then we'll start making that pit trap. And so now for my trap, I have to build the hole first. And I've actually had a hole right here. It's just where I put some salt and like deer ate the ground. But that's a good starting place. Now how, de how big do I want it to be? This is where I decide right now. I think I want it to be decently big, about like that. And it needs to be decently deep too. Maybe about a foot and a half, two feet. I don't know. That's a lot of dirt. But nevertheless, guys, I think I've just got to start digging. I don't think this is legal. I mean, and people don't fall in it. Yeah, it's definitely legal in Cambodia, though. Did you get in their hats? Yeah. So now here I am. I got the hole. I don't know how deep it is. It's about a foot and a half, I'm guessing now. I'm just going to show you what I want it to look like. This is what I want it to look like. So that's what I actually went this morning and got the bamboo for, or cane pole for, is so that now I can split this and put it over just like the picture looked like. We're going to get shot here in a minute. And so now what I need to do is I think I just need to line these. We're about to get <laughs> excuse you but now what we do is we line this up right here and we're going to split these sticks that way we can flatten them out and make a lot of different you know kind of surface area in a way handy rock i guess and then there's one we can use and then i think i'll split this one more time this sounds so cool and then the plan is for me to just come in here like this and stick these right here into the side of this about ground level and then i'll put this all around it it's solid on the edges but once it gets towards the middle it's not going to be enough and it's just going to fall through that's the plan i don't know how good it'll work or if it'll work at all do you think this trap will work uh i've seen it work but not in america 
Hey, how's yours coming along? I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to look like. <laughs> How we doing, Zach? How we doing over here? Not good. Not good? No. Making any progress at all? No. The figure four, I will definitely say, is definitely the hardest one. I made one over there for the spring snare. I made one over there for the wind, windless trap. But they were a whole lot simpler than the figure four. And so here we go, guys. That trap right there, we're still working on it. But the, for as for the figure four box trap, the, the deadfall in a way, we've really got this set up good. I mean, we're not going to lie, okay? It took about three or four different tries to make the trigger, but we finally made one that worked. Here we go, we got it setting up there. I'll tell you what boys, if we can master the figure four trigger, we'll be trapping black bears like nobody's business. <laughs> now the figure four trap is set, the plan. Let me show you what we got for bait. No more than peanut butter. We put a little bit of peanut butter. We smear it all over the end of that stick. Now in this case, we're gonna say that this little rock is a poor little, not a poor little possum, an angry little possum. Let the angry little possum go in there and get that peanut butter. Got that little possum. We got the little agitated possum. And just like that, guys, we have at least one trap that's legal and that is possible to catch. This and on the other hand, guys, I'm I'm gonna be truthful with you guys. I can't say too much about this trap. I mean, humans, yeah, man, we got them. But I mean, I don't really know about a possum. That one, on the other hand, if we if the animal can get over the big blue color, I think we should be y'all right. This one, on the other hand, I just about feel like we have a better chance of popping a tire on a four-wheeler than we do catching an animal. But with this one, I think we got a good chance. Instead of setting it right here, we're actually going to move locations a little bit to where I know we have a ton of possums. And so I'm pretty sure we got a pretty good spot over here that has a ton of possums. We're actually going to go beside the cave. But right here is the cave we're looking at. And we're actually going to set the trap like... I don't know what five feet higher in elevation so if they smell of it they can just you know come around the back side right now i'm gonna go ahead and cover up the bait stick with the peanut butter this is for you asmr fans and that right there looks good to me now here we go boys this is your trap let's set it up oh i got dirt on his peanut butter no <laughs> now the trap is set the peanut butter's in there no. <laughs> no, I was stepping on that thing and it came back up. And there we go, boys. It is finished. How do you guys feel about your deadfall cage trap? You'll have a possum by tomorrow. You think you will? What do you think, Abram? I say by the end of the day. End of the day? It's 3 o'clock now? Big chubby down here. He's Big... going to... He's gonna smell his peanut butter. He's in the war, but guess what? We're in it too. Here's what we ended up doing. Here's what y'all end up doing. Not only did we put peanut butter on the stick, but we also put a little, the rest of the peanut butter right beside of it. Just because like, why not, I guess. We did put the rock on top. We have to do that. The weight of the crate isn't enough to keep the possum in there. And yes, we are basically only going for possums at this point. But I think we can do it. What do y'all think? What if we get a cone in there? What if we get a coyote in there? What if we get a bear in there? I'm gonna be completely honest and like no lie here. I wouldn't be surprised if we get a mammoth. Okay, guys, we're going to head on out of here. i tell you what I'm going to do. Because this is a trapping video, I'm going to let the second half of this video be whatever we catch. Just like most of my trapping videos, it may be tomorrow, it may be the next day, or it may be three weeks. But whenever it happens, guys, I'll get back to you and we'll see whatever we catch. If we catch a mouse... I'll be happy. I don't think you have faith in our trap. I don't. I mean, if we catch a squirrel, that'd be cool too. Whatever likes peanut butter, which is literally everything. We might catch peanut. If we catch peanut, hey, that's a good thing. Okay, guys, we're actually back at the deadfall trap. It is down, but there's nothing in it. I mean, listen, look what happened. The sardines out of the way. I did move it from last time. I don't know if I told you that. I actually moved it away from the cave because the cave wasn't level ground, but I moved it up here to where it's level or ground, and I just feel like if we did catch something, it would have a better chance of staying in there. However, one thing that is positive, we kind of caught something, but it's also kind of not there. The rock is pushed off the top. The sardines are out of it and gone. I also rebated it with sardines. I don't know if I told you that. But lucky for us, we have a trail camera sitting on location the entire time. Let's check into our security cameras and see what's been securitizing us. Got about 13 videos. There's me. There's me. There's me. There's me. And there's me again. Here is our first video from like actual night time. And there he is. It, whatever it is, is right there. Y'all can't see it too good for some reason. Let's watch that one more time. Right there he is. I'm about positive that's just a big old raccoon. A big old rackum, son. Now I hate to say it, but uh... I don't really care what happens. A milk crate with a rock on top of it is not going to catch a rackum. Those things are just too vicious and too smart. There he is. He's just sitting there playing with the trap. And uh, he actually stayed here quite a long time. And he might have came back. Oh, snap. No, here's a possum, guys. Here's actually a possum. There's been a possum come back this night. This must have been the night after 
little possum looking around. I originally thought, like, I really do. I think we can catch a possum in that crate trap. However, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, we're not going to catch possum because we're going to get a coon that comes in there and steals the bait first. But let's keep on checking the video and see what else we can see. There's another possum. I'll just tell you right here. And then there's me today. So here's what I'm thinking. I like the trap design. I think it works really good, but we're not going to catch a coon almost no matter what. Unless we go out and make a bigger, stronger, more advanced, and heavier version of this, we're not going to catch a coon. I kind of think we can catch a possum, but once you think about it, if it's a decently sized possum, he's going to do the same thing a coon can. Especially with possums and coons having opposable thumbs, they can just grab it right here and lift the rock and push it over. It's honestly not going to be that hard for one of those two to get out of this. I mean, I'm sure that we can catch a small possum and keep him in, but besides that, especially the coon. We ain't getting him. We ain't keeping him. And so I'll tell you what, guys. If this video can get 6,000 likes, I know I'm kind of asking. No, I'm not asking for a lot. I want 10,000. I want 10,000 likes, and I'll come out here with a 55-gallon metal barrel, and we will set the most advanced deadfall trap we can, and we will catch the coon. But if you guys want it, you're going to have to go down and hit the like button. We got 10K. If we get it within like a week, two weeks or something, I'll come back here. We will catch that coon, and we will do nearly whatever it takes to catch him on a deadfall. It's not going to be easy. And we're definitely not going to be able to do it with a blue milk crate. But through the power of the gray gang, I think we can do it. Ugh. Okay, guys, my head hurts. If you want to buy something, you can buy something at kindlegrade1.com slash shop or first link in the description. But anyways, guys, I think I may have got a concussion. Thank you for watching another one of Kendall Gray's great videos. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And go check out his merch at kindlegrade1 slash shop. See ya.